building. Um, when we talk about SNAP, I often think about my own childhood. When I was a kid, I remember uh, my parents needing some assistance. Um, we would get a bag of groceries that had black yellow cheese in it, it had things that we could use to make some food, and it was temporary. It was to get us through a tough time. Now, SNAP is our nation's cornerstone anti-hunger program, providing millions of American households with access to food assistance. Children living in these households are also eligible to receive free school meals, ensuring that they're not worried about going hungry when they should be free to focus on their academics. In California, California alone, 4.1 million people rely upon SNAP with 74% of participants being part of families with children and half of participants already being part of working families. In my district, California's 44th Congressional District, that covers areas like Compton and Watts, San Pedro, 17% of households depend upon SNAP to assist them in feeding their families. SNAP not only provides families in need with vital nutritional assistance, it also helps to stimulate local economies. For every dollar invested in SNAP, nearly $2 are generated in economic activity. That's why the current efforts to, quote, reform SNAP are so misguided. These include the recent Harvest Box proposal, which would reduce or eliminate a SNAP recipient's access to nutritious products like fresh produce and meats taking away their right to choose how best to fulfill their family's specific nutritional needs. Additionally, the recently unveiled Farm Bill expands work requirements for SNAP. This would make it har harder for our most vulnerable to access food assistance, knocking them back down when we should be offering them a hand up. I am proud to support SNAP and I'll continue fighting with my colleagues to ensure that no American has to struggle to put food on their table. Thank you and I yield back.